In the previous video, I leak tested the seals on Energizer and Doracell alkaline batteries. What I did in that video was cut each one of these in half, showed you the inside, and then I connected up a hose to the body of the battery and gradually increased pressure to see at which point the seals ruptured. Now one thing we learned from that video, the pressure level is extremely high to get these seals to rupture. One of my viewers suggested a different method and that's what I'm going to try in this video. I'm going to take each one of these batteries, they're brand new, connect it up to my power supply, and I'm going to supply twice the voltage of the battery. These are 1.5 volts each, nominal, so I'm going to be applying 3 volts to each one of these batteries, and we're going to time how long it takes for each one of the seals to rupture. The conditions are going to be exactly the same for both of the batteries. You would think that if one ruptures much sooner than the other, that would indicate the seal is not as strong. Let's take the batteries outside and get the test going. Here you can see my setup. I'm going to be using the small power supply. It has a maximum output of five amps. I got these wires going over to the batteries. Each one of those batteries is going to have the wrapper removed before connecting them to the end of the alligator clips. Each alkaline battery is going to be tested one at a time. I'm going to turn it on. It's already on the three volt setting. And I'm going to push the timer to see how long it takes for each one of those seals to rupture. Let's get started with the door cell first. Okay, we're all set up, and here we go. Thirty seconds. 2.6 amps, it started at 5, it's slowly dropping down, 3 volts. You heard that one. The Doracell battery ruptured in 53 seconds. Now let's repeat the test with the Energizer. The Energizer battery is in position. Here we go. Five amps dropping, three volts. Okay, that one just ruptured and it was a lot sooner than the Duracell. I was thinking that the Energizer would have been able to hold up longer before the seal broke, but the Energizer blew a lot sooner. Let's repeat this test one more time for both batteries. Duracell batteries connected up. Let's try one more time. As you just saw, a very similar amount of time was required to have the seal rupture. Round two for the Energizer. Just like before, much sooner than the Duracell. As you just saw, the seals on the Energizer batteries ruptured about 20 seconds sooner compared to the Doracell. I am leaning more towards the theory that the chemicals inside the battery have possibly more of a corrosive action on the seal of the Doracell over time than it does for the Energizer. But I still need to do more tests. If you guys can think of any other testing, please post a comment in the video description area. I hope you enjoyed this video.